start in familiar territory, Caro. A new season and Alistair Clarkson under pressure for his off-season that uh, had to be seen to be believed. Of course, there's an ongoing investigation, but more specifically, the North Melbourne issue with the reporter in recent weeks. Look, even before the Hawthorne racism story exploded onto the football landscape in grand final week, we all questioned, didn't we, Matthew, could North Melbourne control Alistair Clarkson? Because he has run out of control in the past and he came in really with a mandate of huge power. A lot of the decisions that were going to be made that were, re were recommended didn't happen. Alistair got his men in and then, of course, he was... He couldn't come to work. He, w he was basically stood down for some months. The incident that happened a few weeks ago involving the Channel 9 reporter, Elizabeth Moss, um, who doorstopped Alistair and others at North Melbourne regarding the Tara and Thomas issue, it it's just extraordinary that this is still bubbling away. Alistair's apology was weird, to say the least, from what we can glean. There was an apology, but it was a very strange meeting here at Channel 9. And then... Days after that apology, nothing from North, by the way, nothing from the North president, who we know has been unwell, and we wish Sonia Hood all the best for what she's going through at the moment, or Jennifer Watt, or not, not Todd Viney either. Then we saw this on Channel 7. You'd think with the experience that you, that you would, and I'd, I'd like to be able to say I, I'd continue to learn my lessons, but this, is, this has been with me ever since I was a kid. If I see something unjust or untoward, I'll defend. Um, and I saw something that was unjust and untoward, and I felt like I needed to defend our players and our staff. Um, and I can't give a guarantee that I won't do that again in the future. I haven't really lost control though, because um, I was doing what I thought was in the best interest of the club. There are people in football who are very concerned about Alistair Clarkson, about the pressure he's under, about the resentment, bitterness and anger he feels. Um, he has maintained his innocence on the, that Hawthorne situation and the you know, frustration ongoing because he can't speak, he's been told he can't say anything and this is going to drag on for months. But nothing exclu excu excuses that tripe so we just heard a with Channel 7. What was unjust and untoward by a reporter doing her job. And why apologise if you're going to come out and say that a few days later? It was frankly pathetic. And I'm, Channel 9 thought so, I gather, and have lodged an official complaint with the Kangaroos. Another meeting since, has been since held. Since the meeting? Since the original meeting that took place right here a few weeks ago. Nine have complained. Another meeting has taken place not involving Alistair Clarkson. But still, we have nothing official from the Kangaroos. So I ask you, who is in control here? So this cuts to the heart of the issue at North and I guess not the power struggle but the power dynamic is part of it and the pressure that Alice is under. Do you think that this is headed down the wrong way, the Alistair North situation already? Oh, look, I applauded North um, when they employed him and I thought it was a terrific appointment. And, of course, he's a champion coach. He deserved another chance to come back and coach. Ended badly at Hawthorne, but we all thought he should coach again. And going back to his old club, fantastic. But that behaviour, it's upset the AFL. It's upset other coaches even. It makes them all look bad. And it's clearly upset the media. Are you nervous just it's can't... not going to work, Caro, because they haven't lost a game yet. And this is a poor football side that's going to come under significant pressure well, on the field. No which one will expects raise North to do pressure. anything. I oh, know, but that will raise year. the pressure because these are competitive coaches. Now, if this no, is happening... No, no, when on, on field, he'll get an uh, extraordinary honeymoon. He will, but he still wants to win Hutchie. Off and field, the... he's got not many chips on the table. Matthew, when a player hears that, that stuff with Tim Watson... Do they think this is great, this guy's in our camp, he's going to back us to the hilt? Uh, I don't think the players would care. They don't read into things as much as we do, I think, from a media perspective. But I think what else... Did, I, I can't argue with too much of that, with the way he's handled himself in that situation. And I've been there before where Alistair's tried to get at me on a footy ground. But he sees that I've fixed up one of his players, so he'll just jump in and support his player in that sense. But what he's giving them is relevance for the first time. They have been an irrelevant club. Alistair brings relevance. They'll play better than they have There's in no the doubt. last five years. I, I want to see the so president or the CEO yeah, yeah. come out and address what has happened. The comment, um, you, your, your time will come, no. Yep. Yep. Um, very similar to what Taran Thomas mm. is yeah. alleged to have said um, as part of the issues that have got him into trouble. It's just extraordinary. I want to ask you about Taran. He's back at North Melbourne, won't play, to be fair, injured and still sitting through things as a court case uh, later in the month. But they justified his return. This was Todd Viney, the head of football. 
we just don't think it's the right thing to be out of the program. We think the best way of controlling and helping town change his behaviour uh, is to be within our four walls, uh, because when he has been here, he's, he's, been, uh, he's been fine. So that was the argument from Todd Viney. Do you agree with that? Is he back too soon? No, I think he's OK to come back now, but the way that it was handled last year, and granted there's different personnel in place than was there dealing with issue, this issue last year, but they tried to sweep it under the carpet and it only became public and they only punished him when it was broken in the media. So the handling of it from those that were there last year was, was disgraceful. Now that he's back, it's the best place for him to be, but I wouldn't think he's up for selection for, for a good month or so. Sorry, Carrie, you just said before uh, that... He, the staff, that he got what he wanted. Are you suggesting that this, the, some of the CEO or the staff wanted other people in roles and he, he overruled them? We were told that certain people were coming in or certain people had been recommended to stay. I mean, Daniel McPherson, I think, under the Peter Jackson review, that was recommended that he might not be head of football, but he, he deserved to remain at the club. He was That's a good operator. That's fair enough, though, isn't it, if a coach wants... Completely. He came in with his own mandate. He got his own people. But you wonder if this was a football decision with Thomas. And I don't know. I think it was probably made before some of the people in charge at North were even there. But I just wonder... Look, you're, Todd that... Viney explains it well. He's better within our four walls. Not everyone at the club agrees with mm. that. Certainly not all the women at the club agree with that. Certainly not everyone at the AFL agrees with that. So why don't the he AFL do something? Because the AFL were weak on the issue at the time. The AFL well. have been told to butt out by the police or by the courts until this goes before the courts. But he will be investigated by the integrity people at the AFL. And, you know, he, he will face a charge, quite a serious charge, of a threat against a woman. And let's just wait and see what happens. I mean, I understand we had the Jordan Degoe situation a few years ago and those charges ended up not going ahead. But I feel uncomfortable about this one. Mm. And the, the handling of Taryn Thomas for some time is obviously predating Alistair Clarkson. Uh, has which been which is what I've... Yeah, it was disgraceful last year. And the only reason it became public is because it was broken. Speaking of, of Taryn Thomas, and I've been strong on the, on the Jason Horn francis issue and the fact that he was set up to fail by North Melbourne and they didn't support him enough. I've, I've since learnt that upon being drafted to the club, Jason Horn francis they did set him up with a junior mentor in Taryn Thomas to show him the ropes at the football club. I mean, this is the management of their most talented player since Wayne Carey, and they wonder why he's no longer it's at the club. unusual for a young player at the best uh, it, of times. It is. I think they thought that the theory was to get him someone in the same generation. You yep. know, it's, it's different to have a mentor who's 30-plus and you like different things. That was the theory behind it. Clearly, it failed, along with a number of other things, and, and Jason himself didn't handle things perfectly, but it's one they'll probably live to regret. Why do I sense you're going to be a Jason Horn francis round? No, I'm going to move on from it now, Hutchie, but I thought, that was, I thought that was... Um, on, on closing, a coach does not speak that way to a journalist, male or female, 26 or 56, and not correctly apologise if they, you know, and, and the club should take control if he does. Let's